Hello. Today we're going back to find two of ITV's best-remembered comedies. One was Please Sir, the father to the other, the brats of the Fen Street Gang, and both on our screens in November 1971. But this is how Please Sir looked three years earlier, when it first began in 1968. The success of Please Sir was virtually the work of one man, the producer, Mark Stewart, who cast it and directed it. It was superbly written by John Esmond and Bob Larby, and its origins were similar to the Sidney Poitier film, To Sir With Love. The theme was simple, charismatic teacher tames wild inner city school children. Ah, but the casting is crucial in such matters, and with John Alderton as the teacher with a mission, and a supporting cast which included Joan Sanderson and Derek Guiler, among a galaxy of first-class actors, how could it fail? So, enter Bernard Hedges on his first day at Fen Street Secondary Modern. Hello, old man. Mr. Hedges. Uh, yes, yes, good morning. 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 I trust you don't intend to be late every day of the term, Mr. Hedges. No, no. <laughs> I, I got off at the bus depot by mistake. I had to come all the way around the back. And there was yes, yes, no yes. Crates. I'm Miss Yule, the assistant head. Oh, hello. Hello. I'm Smith. Everyone calls me Smith. You may use this cupboard. Oh, good, good. Well, I'm Not now. Here's your syllabus. School rules. I so say, this is a bit revolutionary, isn't it? Hmm? Revolutionary? Yeah, well, uh, rule three. While not expressly forbidden, smoking is not advocated. Now, surely that's tantamount to encouraging the children to smoke. That is a rule for members of the staff, Mr. Hedges. <laughs> Please, sir, when it did emerge, blinking into the light, was a winner. I was head of light entertainment at London Weekend Television at the time, and Please, sir, was flourishing along with On the Buses. One week, the two programmes topped the ratings at joint number one. The trouble with stories about school is that the children grow up. But then Mark Stewart came to me with the brilliantly simple idea of hiving off the scholars and following their adventures into the world of work as they went their separate ways. Separate ways, eh? Yeah. God is planting out his little seedlings. But the graduates of Fen Street decided to stay together. Sharon, now played by Carol Hawkins, works in a boutique. Duffy is a painter and decorator. The shy Dunstable is a stable boy. And the hopeless fantasist Abbott thinks that he's a private eye. Hello. I I'm sorry I'm late. Only Bettine's been playing me up. Taught trouble, Deb. She's a mare. I didn't know you knew no one at the town hall. <laughs> oh, spirit. Point, Jen, please. Because I was talking to this rep at the boutique today. <laughs> How are you off to the brewery, Dean? Oh, smash him. I'm bringing on Bettine, that's my offside lead mare, for a Jim Carner, you know. I mean, I think she's getting overexcited thinking about it. <laughs> do horses think, Dean? Well, of course they do. But why would they always go into their own stalls without being told which was which? Well, unless they just read their names on the door. <laughs> yeah, it's fantastic what they teach you down at brewery, isn't it, then? Mm. Hey, talking of being a private detective, I made 18 arrests last night. Oh, yeah? Playing with your farmyard animals, was you? Nah, <laughs> you can't arrest farmyard animals, can you, Frankie? You're wising up, kid. They wish you toy soldiers, weren't they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The gang finally went their separate ways in 1972, the same year as the school gates were closed for the last time. I remember that gang with great affection and hope their success 20 years on continues. Next week, a legless lamb. You haven't had a drink on you, do ya? You? you know I never drink in front of an audience. Is that an audience? Oh, yeah, you folks don't have another drink on you, do ya? You?